Hey everyone, it's been a few months since I did the original episode about cable without the cable box and I thought it was time to do an update to give you a little bit more information and to show you how things have gone since. Um, this episode is going to be a little bit different. I'm not going to have a script. I'm not going to... I haven't written down anything to talk about. I may have to do some jump cuts like um, in some other videos that you've seen online. Um, and I also um, should let you know that you should watch the previous video before watching this one for a little bit more background. I'm going to put a link right here. Click it if you haven't already. Um, should I do the opening of the show? Yes. This is TechSpan. Wasn't that worth it? So first things first, Silicon Dust actually let me keep the HD Home Run Prime that they had sent over. So it's mine now, thanks to HD Home Run or Silicon Dust. That was pretty cool of them, I think. Um, and I've been using it. The computer that I, had done, that I had done the original episode with was really underpowered and I just had it lying around, so I decided to use that as like a test. But since I kept the HD Home Run Prime and the cable card, I decided to buy a computer on Woot. And it actually, um, it's right there. It only cost around $250 and it's pretty snazzy. I think it's an i5 with uh, 16 gigabytes of RAM, Windows 7 Pro, I think. Um, and you need Windows 7 to use Windows Media Center, and Windows Media Center is the only thing that works with most cable companies' um, copy-protected content. Um, keep that in mind if you're thinking of building your own computer. You will have to do a lot of Googling, you'll have to troubleshoot on your own, so if all of that sounds complicated, or you don't want to deal with it, or you think you're going to be able to get all that information from a video like this, instead of finding it on your own, don't do this. Just pay the cable company $12 a month or whatever it is. Another thing that um, became instantly required was uh, a remote control. And since I'm using a computer, obviously there was no remote control built in. So I had to go on eBay. I bought something for an HP Pavilion, I believe. It's like a little, I don't know if you could see it, but it's a little USB receiver that plugs in, uh, infrared rather, receiver that plugs into a USB port on the computer. And then it allows me to use my Harmony Ultimate One, which is a great remote too. So, um, that took a lot of programming. Again, you have to be willing to tinker with this. It's not going to set itself up. There's no like box to get. If you want that, just get a TiVo or pay your cable company. Um, the computer is a lot faster than the one that I used originally, so the guide buttons will um, will pop up a lot faster. Uh, the the guide rather, and you could actually change channels a lot faster. So you know, there you go. Pretty standard. Most people don't want, ooh, passenger 57. Anyway, sorry. Um, remote control, you'll need to come up with a solution for that. That was the point of this little piece. Um, I'm gonna need to do a lot more jump cuts. If you're like me and you like to tinker, and like a lot of the viewers, um, this is not a big deal. You go on Google, you type in the problem, you find it. So far I've had to fix a few issues. One of them was with the Intel integrated graphics driver causing a, um, a flickering with the screen. And so I just updated the driver and turned off a, um, I think it was called a, a dynamic contrast control in the driver's panel and solved the problem. So little things like that keep coming up. Um, for instance, sometimes Spectrum here in New York City will do some sort of update to their system and the switch digital adapter, which is down there, I've hidden everything um, since the video, so it looks a lot better. Um, but sometimes they'll have a problem with their switch digital video adapter and um, HD channels will come in as the SD version, or rather, um, how do I describe it? CBS here in New York is channel two over the air, right? So usually, if you tune into channel two on Spectrum, it'll be CBS. However, they also have an HD version. So two is the SD version, and then the HD version is like 1702, or something like that. Um, usually, the switched uh, digital adapter will automatically bounce you over to the HD version. So sometimes that doesn't happen. It's very rare. Um, it's happened to me twice, I believe. And both times, just pull the plug and plug it back in and it works just as good. So, you know, not huge problems, but there are things that you'll have to deal with. You'll have to be more hands-on with your, with your setup. And most people may find that, or some people may find that annoying and they just want to pay the 12 or 24 dollars for their box to work. One thing I did want to address is that a lot of the comments, a lot of the comments were just <laughs> saying, oh this isn't how you get free cable or you'll go to jail or whatever. Nowhere does it say 
how to get free cable. That's some other idiot's video, it's not my video. My video says cable without the cable box. And that's what we're doing. I don't rent a cable box from Spectrum anymore. I built my own setup and I don't pay them $24 a month for the box and the DVR service like I used to. That's cable without the cable box. I still pay Spectrum for the service and I still pay Spectrum for the $2.50 cable card that I need to use it, but I'm not renting a cable box. That's the whole point. There were some other comments, you know, some people said um, that I was good looking. I like those, you know, mail at textbank.com if you want to get in touch with me personally. I'm single. <laughs> um, there were a few people asking very specific questions over email and in the um, comment section in the last video. If you have a very specific question, I'll do my best to answer it. But if you're asking a question to a video in the comment section on YouTube, chances are you're not going to be as technologically savvy as you should be to do something like this. So I would recommend against it and just go with whatever Time Warner or your cable company is giving you just to save yourself headaches. because. Most of the time, you can Google your question and find a great answer. I'm just saying. Other than that, I really like the setup. It's, it's actually changed the way I watch TV because now I have three tuners and I don't have to worry about missing something, especially on Sunday nights when like, they have a bunch of good shows like Walking Dead and a few others are on at the same time. I usually could only um, DVR two of them at a time. Now I could record two and watch a third. And if I got more over the air tuners or something from Silicon Dust, I could the sky's the limit. You could add as many as you want. I think there's no limit. Don't quote me on that. Again, Google it. How many tuners does Media, Windows Media Center support? Eh, it's not a hard Google search. Do it. I'm not going to do it for you. I don't even care. Um, <laughs> but that's about it. Thanks so much for watching. If there's a question that you have that I didn't get to, feel free to mail me directly. Email me at mail at textbank dot com or you could leave a comment down here if it's something that you think other people might find helpful. Uh, most of the time it's not uh, unless you think I'm attractive. If you think I'm ugly, I'm going to delete the comment. If you think I'm attractive, I will leave it up. That's just a tip in general. Oh, by the way, I put on MSNBC because it really pissed some people off and I think you know what type of people I'm talking about. Make America great again. Der, 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 der. It's just a TV station, people. Anyway, that's it for this episode. Thanks for watching. I'm James Papadopoulos, and I'll see you next time.